Um, what is your idea of Utopia? I'm, I'm starting a new project, I've literally just been given it a sort of like a very broad brief and, I, and I wanted to come along tonight. Sorry, which subject, what, which, or which, um, what do you study? Oh, I do performance design and practice, oh, yeah. Right, cool, cool. And it's like, it's like something outside of uni, you know, it's sort of cool. like a performance. And it's all around sort of utopias and paradise and whether just views on that. So I've come to you guys with a question and I was wondering <laughs> if people have responses to this. And in the in the theme of the uh, election, I did make, I made like a little box and I've got oh, some paper if you want to write stuff down. But I mean, it's quite, I don't mind if you just want to maybe talk about it for a few minutes. I've got a quote that sort of particularly inspired me, which I'll read out, which is, I don't know, starting a project with a theme as big as that is quite overwhelming. So, but I found this quote by Oscar Wilde, which is sort of really, inspired me, and I'll just read it out, it is, a map of the world that does not include utopia is not worth even glancing at, for it leaves out one country at which humanity is always landing, and when humanity lands there, it looks out, and seeing a better country sets sail, progress is the realisation of utopias. Which I thought was quite interesting. But whether you think utopia is a way of thinking, or an object, or an environment, or an alternative political system, like anything, I'm just really interested in what people would say utopia is. Go on then. Go on then, Rebecca, I can see you. <laughs> I think utopia, like, I might be wrong, but I think it comes from some Greek words that mean nowhere. So like actual, the word utopia is, doesn't, the, the thing doesn't exist. The utopian place doesn't actually exist. Which I think is really interesting. Um, and I don't know, I think, we, if we're always thinking forward to something, if we're always trying to um, work and create and make and fight for something that's in that future, then we're ignoring what's happening right now. And even the fight and the struggle and um, working against something, recognising that the system, or the system again, mm. but the environment in which we are now isn't perfect. Yeah. But you can make that, you can make, you can bring happiness from that because you, you have to, you have to be, you have to be productive if you recognise that that is not right. So if you think utopia did exist, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be utopia anyway. Yeah, I think, I think um, it's like you know, the camp, isn't it? It's like you can't, you can't appreciate light without dark. You can't appreciate good without bad. I don't know. They did. We wouldn't have any bad. But in some of these eyes, there's always going to be something that's it's not. Like, it's so there's that human condition to always want more than what you actually have, mm -hmm. like paradise will always be. But yeah, I was going to kind of, kind of go off from that. It's almost like I think open conversation is utopia. It's the only way to ever possibly get like like nights like this where you can feel safe in ideas and actually get them out there. So and you even, say it's more of an environment, like like yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like an environment created by the states of mind of the people in it. Like mm -hmm. the the environment does not perfect the people <coughs> in it. It is the people that then create that environment. Like again, just quickly, like going back to like my dissertation work, it's like so much of the issue with mental illness is that we don't talk about it properly and like if you talk to people about shit it's yeah. just so much healthier way better way of dealing like way better way of dealing with shit so instead of like just getting drunk and shouting or getting drunk and going to a football match and getting all your anger about society out at your anti-football team or whatever it's like yeah like places like this where people can be healthy and on a level and talk about shit yeah like, yeah yeah um, well, I think you know, it's kind of a dreamland, mm. and it's important to dream. And I think through history of mankind, uh, people always had a, um, quite a lot of thinkers, um, like intelligent people, who would create uh, theories around utopia, you know, socialist, mm. arts and crafts movement, all sorts of people. And I think it's very important to have that vision, uh, even though people appreciate and understand it's a not achievable. It's not yeah. achievable. It's still a dreamland. It's not people, achievable, but it's good. To but I think I think it's very important to have a vision. Otherwise, yeah. we will be all in the room, wouldn't we? <laughs> very important. So now that's something that you want to say. I don't want to take up too much time. So maybe speak yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like I don't know only because of what you said. You told Utopia being in a space where it's nothing, and it just kind of came to mind. I'm thinking like maybe politics. That's kind of like a utopian idea. Like in this moment, like what we're in now, with all the votes and you know, like everyone will come and promise this and then we get, and then we buy into that utopian idea and then it never happens. So, I, don't know, maybe like that. I think the word that resonated for me is just hope and that connects to what Miriam said about dreaming. I think just 
that you can have a vision for yourself regardless of whatever is kind of maybe confined to your mind and hopefully your actions then bring it into reality but I think having a constant hope and vision for something yeah. is a utopia. Mm -hmm. I think just adding to that like literally everything that everyone has just said you can relate that back to the like the traditional idea of the education institution mm -hmm. and like the fact that like that is not the case anymore because universities, colleges and people businesses and like you know, there used to be the space where we could have freedom of speech, where we could have experimentation, where we could try things out, like where we could fuck up and it wouldn't matter. Like, and that kind of, like, I don't know, the thing that I'm very angry about at the moment is the fact that that is diminishing. I think the predominant thing, though, has been all in the, like, the idea of utopia is always in the context of time, like you just said it used to be. Mm. And also, like, this is the kind of like the Rousseauian idea, like a state of nature, like a golden age where, like, man was like um, sort of free and like not morally corrupt but then also like we have like the future like past like, futures are always kind of utopian if you think like sort of um, lots of sci-fi to imagine a future but then actually quite often we get to that point but then because we are there it's not utopian or utopian is always before or after like it's kind of it's, never now. it's always a case of perspective yeah oh, um, amazing, <laughs> amazing. I am going to leave this here. I've got some paper and some pens. If that, I might leave it by the snacks table. Um, if anyone does have like, a little idea, they want to like write down. You can say Hubert. I can say. I think it's interesting uh, because nobody's really mentioned dystopia mm -hmm. in yeah. this whole discussion yeah. so far. And I know to me, like dystopia is the more interesting one because from what I kind of observe is, you know. I think more and more we go to a dystopian environment, you know, we become more corporate, we become, you know, we speak less to each other, we become more individualistic, you know, the kind of stuff that we got from th Thatcherism back in the 1980s, um, you know, that's kind of growing on our society, um, yeah, and it's, it's interesting to observe and, you know, it's, I think it's a bigger part of our lives than actually utopia, um, because it affects us every day. Whereas, like, you know, you know, utopia is like an abstract concept, a dream, you know, a possible future. Yeah. Whereas dystopia is the now. Yeah. And, you know, dystopia also drives us to, you know, to change things. Um, yeah. Isn't that the same thing, though? No, <laughs> dystopia is the opposite. No, no, I'm saying in the sense of, like, a, yeah, utopia is actually quite individualistic in the same way. It's about your ideas, anyway. So if you're saying dystopia is a space where you're kind of like, it's me and buying this house kind of thing, these statuary ideas. You don't really still got that same thing in, in a way. So like you're kind of thinking about what would make my life better, but in the way you're kind of like considering everyone else. So I was going to ask what is utopia, and then I just kind of ended up typing up what is your idea, your idea of utopia, because I kind of think like, like, yeah, that's utopia, something I wanted to do a bit more of that. I think Personally. what you've written is far more appropriate because the idea of utopia is subjective anyways. Exactly. Your utopia, your utopia and your utopia are different to my utopia. Still, I think utopia as an ideal is something we can achieve as humans if we could come like, to a consensus that we all agree on. But we don't have enough communication <laughs> yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. But then, in terms of environmental utopia, you can't prevent in terms of this reality we live in, you can't prevent things like earthquakes happening and people dying in situations that are, it's not constant happiness and whatever people's concept of utopia is. Yeah, but then... But then that's separate to that being own reception. Yeah, mm. and also that makes me think, like, are you then thinking of heaven or just utopia as opposed to... Um, you know, something that can be achieved. Because what you say, like, that's just preventing death, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's, that's yeah, like that's more like heaven. Like it's, yeah, it's not reality. It can, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that we're calling it utopia, if we realise and we acknowledge that it's unchewable, mm -hmm. yeah. then otherwise we wouldn't call it utopia. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, I know you've got to speak, but thank you very much. Woo!